I think a good salesperson has to have high levels of emotional intelligence, mm. you know, kind of evaluating who, who sees higher level of success and who doesn't really goes back to that EQ. Um, being able to meet people where they are and being able to respond versus reacting, you know, takes a high level of emotional intelligence to be able to listen for those cues and intuitively listen and, and listen for what people are saying and sharing with you and what's behind that, that they're actually saying and sharing with you. Mm. Um, what makes somebody not a good salesperson <laughs> is I think truly it's that motivation factor of what are you, what's the purpose of this for you? Um, I think it's as cliche as it sounds, it's that used car dealership kind of yeah. vibe. You know, yeah. if your product pushing, if your sole goal is to hit a dollar amount to fill your pockets, I think that comes off and that, you know, that's what, that's what clients and, and prospective clients receive. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that makes a bad salesperson. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you're showing up for that win lose, then, then if either one of a few things is going to happen, the prospective client is going to feel it, know it and move on, or they're going to buy anyway, and then end up having remorse or, or, or they'll be not happy. And both of which are, are very dangerous positions for any company to deal with, with a customer, because with with the age of instantaneous information you know there there's always been a rule of thumb in sales and that rule of thumb is you have to do 10 things right for one person to know about it you do one thing wrong and 10 people will know about it and that was before the information highway right yeah. so yeah. now when someone has has buyer's remorse or regret or they're dissatisfied or anything it just takes one tag, one tag, and, and you're done. 